Hello, hello, welcome back to Flute Salad. Welcome to another video. I am here doing a tier list, and I am joined by my girlfriend. I'm eating ice cream. She's eating an ice cream. Um, basically, we don't really know what we're going to do, but we're just going to try and rank all of the mainline Sonic games um, as best we can. So you're going to get to hear her fabulous input uh, on it. So yeah, we're going to rank these as best we can. It, ones that we haven't played or ones that aren't mainline, like the Olympic Games, not going to count them. Ones we haven't played, not going to count them. All right. Let's get into this. Oh, we're not going to count the Game Gear games versions. We're just going to count the main main releases. Um, all right, here we go. Sonic 1. What is your opinion on Sonic 1? Um, I haven't played in a long time, so I can't really remember. But Right. <laughs> gaming. I forgot to say, what did I just press? Oh, there we go. See? Um... I mean, yeah. it's not it's not awful, is it? But it's not it's not peak. It's just average Sonic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sonic Two. What's your opinion on Sonic Two? Tails, my goat appeared, so put it on B. What tails? It's getting yeah, tails, a it's goat. getting a it's getting a B just because tails is in it. Yeah. Okay. What about the actual game though? I remember, I don't play 2D Sonic. I used to, but I don't anymore, because it's mid. Yeah, but did you like it? I can't remember. Okay, so is it literally... Okay. Sonic... Okay, we'll skip over these ones. Where the fuck is Sonic 3? Oh, Sonic CD. I'll do this one for you. That's going in F. You... There's no other option. Um, actually, actually, no, I actually no. kind of enjoyed it. No, I enjoyed no. it. I enjoyed it. E. It's just a Sonic CD hater. E. I hate Sonic CD. Okay, F. Anyways, um, <laughs> Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Do you want to count these as one thing or separate? Come kind of one thing. Put one it thing. top tier, top tier, best game ever, best game top ever tier. made. What, in X? Best thing I've ever fucking experienced. I thought you didn't you know? like 2D Sonic. Yeah, but that game is peak as fuck, so... It has knuckles in it, and also <laughs> overall, oh, this is a fucking hard speak, man. But overall, gameplay and the story is absolutely amazing. Actually, Entrance, absolutely amazing, because knuckles is in it, he fucking bashes Sonic in yeah, his yeah. Sonic becomes unconscious, and he's like, Zowie, you are we, what the fuck? Who stole my kids? Everyone's, I was just <laughs> super Sonic. I just like flying around, and then I just got knocked out by this fucking echidna that's red. Nipples, bro. <laughs> Nipples. Okay. Actually, I might put Sonic and Knuckles one thing lower. And the only reason for that oh, is that yeah. fucking sand level. Where there's the ghosts and you have to go through that like pyramid thing and then it slowly fills up. That is gen and you have to keep clicking the thing to turn on the lights. Awful. Terrible stage, so I'm going to put that one right lower. Um, the fuck are all these, bro? No one cares about Tail Sonic Adventure. Sonic Schoolhouse! Sonic, Sonic Schoolhouse! School, have you, did you ever play Sonic Schoolhouse? Sonic Schoolhouse, put it at an S. No. Sonic Schoolhouse, Sonic Schoolhouse. Hey, I, am so, I mean, it's definitely oh, better than, anything's better than Sonic CD. Okay, Sonic Schoolhouse okay, is going okay, at S. Okay. Hey, I'm Sonic, me? and welcome to my schoolhouse. Um... Have you played? Did you have you ever played Sonic R? Oh, or have you played like Sonic Blast or Sonic 3D Blast? Oh my! Oh, okay, I actually need to click that. Hang on, give me a second. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what is it? Sonic R? Oh, have you ever played Sonic 3D Blast? No. Oh. Okay. Well, I have, and it's not very good. Have you ever played oh, Sonic good. R? No, but I watch videos of it continuously when I, when I had nothing to do at night. I just watched, like, I was sad, so I just kind of like, watched, like, Sonic shit. And then, like, I watched it, I was like, can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Okay. You okay? Are we... No. B? C? C? E. E. C? What the C? No. D? Yes. No. C? Yes. Is that just because of the OSD? No, I just like the game. And it's funny. It's silly. Sonic Adventure. That's right. 
Can you, there we go. I think that's. I would not. I would not rank you that high. You would not put Sonic Adventure above Sonic Three. Mm. <laughs> well, are we move? Okay. Well, I'd I'd move Sonic Three under that stuff, like to an A. Or like an, I can't actually. I don't know. Right. So this is moving down one then, yeah. What about fucking Sonic the Schoolhouse? What we're doing with that? <laughs> okay. That one to an B. B. Sonic Schoolhouse go is is as good as Sonic Two. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Where are you putting Adventure? Would you put it in S? In S. But I love Sonic Adventure. I love, like, Sonic and the Black Knight, so, you know... But it's, well, that Sonic and the Black Knight's going to get its own fucking tier, because it's peak. Um, okay, so put Sonic Adventure to X. In S. What, a f- X. what the fuck? I'll put it in S. I didn't even know that. Was S? Okay, okay. Okay. Because it's, it's pretty good, but Big also exists, so... Big. Um, Rogi. 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 All right. Okay, uh, next. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You should put in like its own T as the worst thing ever made, you know. Hang so on, this see fucking if I can work how to do this. Add row below. I mean like not adventure stages. I mean like fucking SA2 what's it called? Tier. Oh. Oh, hunting. There. there we go. And can we make it just be like the worst possible color, just like black? <laughs> Here we go. I used, to, I used to like Sonic Adventure 2 until you I came used to like Sonic like... Adventure 2 until I developed my frontal lobe and my own personality, and then I realized it was a piece of shit. Where the... That's cool, I don't even have my own personality. Where the so. speed stages, you just hold forward. You could, you, it's more fucking linear than Sonic Forces is. It's probably almost as fucking scripted as Sonic Forces is in the, in the main stages. And then you've I like also the got... story. I like the story's okay, but then you've also got the fucking treasure hunting, which treasure are hunting. genuinely the worst thing I think ever made, that you can only track one at a time. It's stupid. I, don't, I genuinely don't understand the treasure hunting at all, because you just, you have no idea. It could be anywhere on the stage, on the first playthrough. You have no idea. You just you just have to walk about aimlessly for like 20 minutes here. Beep. 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 And it doesn't even track them all at the same time. Anyway. And then you've got the next like, stage. The amount of times I fucking started crying because I couldn't do the treasure hunt the stages. I was on Twitter, I was like, guys, help me. And they all started laughing at me. I was like, what the fuck you, what do you want then, from me? They're like, have you seen the box? I'm like, what fucking box, Mom? Yeah, and then you've what got the fucking mech stages, which are genuinely the most boringest thing ever created by man. Um, That's where it deserves. OSC is pretty good. Uh, mm-hmm. Sonic Battle. Oh, are we counting advanced games? I mean, I've played Advance 1, but not the rest. Have you played, played any of them? I, I played one of them, but I don't think I finished it. Do you Just, know which I... one you played? I'm assuming the first one. The first one. So I the quite thing like... Is I'm gonna, I, start, shush, I start playing a game, <laughs> but then I get distracted and never come back to it. Yeah. I think... Or like, I into something that's like difficult like i'm like fuck you so i just never so i just go i'm like i'm gonna play later i come back and you know yeah i think b is a nice place i don't think it's as good as sonic 2 but i think it's definitely mm-hmm. better than sonic 1 so that's this place at the moment heroes piece of shit not right. awful um i like it i think it's fine put it, c. Put it at least c, c. Hey. well the thing about heroes is the actual stages themselves are like they're fine, but the fact you have to play through them four separate times and also that it controls like shit. See, see, I think okay, I, I mean personally, I'd say D, but if you want to go see, I mean, it's worth. It's not as good as Sonic Car, is it? No. Um, Sonic Rush. I have actually played Sonic Rush. Have you played Sonic Rush? No. I watch videos, that's what I'm saying. I th- I never I ended it though. I honestly prefer Advance to Rush. I think the level design in Advance is better than it is in Rush. But yeah. Shadow <laughs> I have well, I've played Shadow like one time. Shadow, I've played Shadow I've played Shadow Peak Gaming. Peak Gaming that's X, all I can say, X Peak tier. Gaming. There you go. This is like taking yep. Kennedy from a baby, which is fine by me. Oh, um, no. Genuinely, when I was playing the gameplay, but I, obviously I 
emulate it on my phone because I don't have like fucking GameCube X or the fuck you play on. Forgot. And you might say, oh my god, she's not a true Sonic fan because she's so stupid. Yeah. That's my fucking video. Yeah. I, she's... Uh... Well, I mean, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your sound's just gone. Fucking... You are... Oh, there you go, you're back. Oh, I'm back somehow with fucking Wi Fi, BT Wi Fi. BT Wi Fi. What What's going on? Uh, you just cut out. Oh, there you go. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Oh, okay. Anyway, That's peak really... gaming. Peak so gaming. Might... Oh, not not a true Sonic gamer, but I am. I just, I just have other things to do. I have a, I actually have a life, so I don't have, I don't really have opinions. Like if I like something and if I dislike something, and there's gonna be a game. There's gonna be a game that pops up. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be fucking ranting. My boyfriend's gonna be like, I'm not. I'm gonna be ranting. Not that one. Not well, that's me that ranting. The only, I had, the only problem I had with Sonic Adventure 2 is the treasure hunting stages. Yeah. Piss me off. I mean, even they, the mech stages aren't me the mech stages aren't awful, but compared to the actual, you you want to be playing a Sonic the whole fucking time. Like the. Well, I want to be playing a Shadow too, but Shadow was not there. But you know. Adventure. So. I think, clears Adventure 2 in so many ways. I think the SA2. Speed stages, while I don't necessarily prefer them, I think they have a lot more perspe uh, spe blah, spectacle and are, as a whole, like, more polished, I guess, than the SA1 stages. But the thing is, even the SA1 stages, Knuckles, the levels aren't massive like they are in SA2, and you can tra they attract all of them at the same time, so it's better. The mech stages, where you play as Gamma, he moves so much quicker than the mech stages in SA2, and he's like, controls better. Even Amy. Amy's quite fun, because she moves fairly quick, and if you're good with her hammer stuff, you're good with the controls. Tails, I like Tails, because you can actually use him in a 3D space and fly him, and it's like a race with Sonic. That's really fun. I like that. And Big is Big's kind of shit. Big's, Big's kind of shit. Um, Sonic Riders. Peak Gaming. Uh, Peak S Gaming. S-Rank. S -rank. Enough said. Sonic 06. Controversial. Top of S. 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 Everyone's like, oh, there's so many bugs. But when I played it, yeah. I'm like, well, fuck up the bugs, man. Above, or, below, above or below riders? There's an order? Well, yeah. The higher up there, the better it is. Well... I'd say above, personally. Say, yeah. Say that. Like, I hate people like fucking Elise. <laughs> Elise is... Elise is the Sonic 06 version of fucking Chris Thorndock. Just I hate smile. that man with my whole entire life. And I hate Elise because of her orange ass appearance. But I hate <laughs> that woman. I hate her. Like, I, and I hate all the kissing shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I, I mean, oh, the, the game overall and the story. The story is amazing. The story is but if good. If you just remove, if you just remove Elise, the game will be a solid ten out of ten. I genuinely, the thing with the bugs, I don't. You know, you occasionally get a bug where maybe the collision's a bit odd, and then you like clip through the floor, or, you know, something like that. But that's very rare. I, you know, yeah. I mean, it does have problems, like they left the outtake in, and that guy that's like, go to the wave ocean, go to wave ocean, and then he says it again. Um, but as a whole, I think it's, I mean, the level design in 06, I think it's the best level design we've ever had. Ever. Full stop. So, yeah. Fuck you, it's going there. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Now, you've played this for about 10 <laughs> seconds, haven't you? What was, what was the story yeah, with that? Yeah, like... like so basically, I was at his house, and there was a little TV <laughs> in the room. And so we tried to connect. Like Originally, we wanted to play in the living room, connected to the normal TV. But the normal TV did not work. It just it didn't, it didn't, pick, up the, it didn't pick up the AV TV. signals. So we moved it to this little TV, this little shit, right? We connected it, and... It was black and white, and then like the screen had like loads of like lines, lines and like the, like the weird TV glitches and shit. And I was yeah. like, you know, what? I was trying to play it, but it was unbearable because it started hurting my eyes. Yeah, because it really, really affected me. Because 
I cannot stare at like my PC or like computer screen for a long time. Yeah. I, need, I need to like fucking what's it called? I need to buy like um what's it called? I forgot. Oh, the like, glasses. Like glasses. Yeah. Which my which my teacher was like, oh, in college, I really, I really need some, Sophie. and I'm like, okay, I never bought them, but. Need to buy some because it just really, really, really irritates yeah. my eyes. So I just could not. I just could not. I gave up. I, I don't want to play anymore. Well, I'm putting just, it like, in A. It. You were playing it, but I just could not because it really, really hurt yeah. my eyes. I mean, I was more so playing it because I know every fucking stage in the game like the back of my hand because I've played it religiously since I was like three years old. I love, I love Secret Rings. It's peak fiction, bro. What inside that book? Anyway, um. Yeah, A rank. I really like the environments. I really like the music. The story's peak. The visuals are peak. The art style is beautiful. The animations mm -hmm. are really, really nice, actually. I think um, Sonic Boom, which we're not going to rank because we've not played it, but Sonic Boom and Secret Rings are the two games which have the best animation. Full stop. Um, yeah, beautiful. Um, what's that? Oh, Rush. I haven't played Rush Adventure. Have you ever played Rush Adventure? Okay. No. Okay. Not gonna count the Olympic Games because they're more spin-offs. Have you played Riders? No, we did have Riders Zero Gravity, but we didn't play that because of the eye thing. But have you ever played it before? Yeah. No. No comments. No comments. I watch gameplay videos. As I said, I only have like Xbox and stuff. I don't think it's as good as normal as the original Riders. I don't think it's awful. I I I put it in. I'd put it in B. Personally, I'm also going to move Heroes Down one. I'd put it in B because it's not as fun as some of this other stuff, but I'd rather play Zero Gravity than fucking Sonic Heroes or CD or SA2. I think that's fair. As in, like, English, bro, I'm trying to speak. I'm trying to speak to the audience right here. That's probably not going to watch the video. And pro if they do, they're probably going to think, like, fuck, what the fuck is this woman? Who oh, is this, bro? So if I like don't have much input, it's not because I'm stupid, but it might be. But like I just like probably can't remember most of the stuff because yeah. I I just forget stuff. And also I have not played all the games because obviously them. I'm not gonna have access to that because yeah. I only had like a P fucking PS3, PS4, um. An Xbox, like Xbox. Yeah. I have an Xbox Series One now. I had a Nintendo Switch, but it broke. How? I don't fucking know how. Yeah, it um, just broke. Like, I know how it broke. It's more like he explains stuff better. I and I don't have that. I can't. It's because I fucking awful because I'm addicted to Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm addicted to Sonic the Hedgehog too, but I just want more. The thing is. Yeah, when I was growing up, I only had a Wii and a DS, right? I never even had Sonic Rush. I played Sonic Advance 1 and that was it, right? And I played all of the Wii games, um, but it wasn't until a lot afterwards, it wasn't until I was like 11 or 12, that I first played things like Adventure and Adventure 2 and the classic games properly and all of that. That wasn't until a long time afterwards. And I've done like fucking 5 million playthroughs of all of them on my channel anyway. So like... You know, but I only I... like we play ten thousand times games I absolutely love. Like yeah, only Black Knight and like what's it called? Like I really like Team Sonic Racing. Where where's that? Is that on the list? Is that on the uh, list? it should be. Where is it? That's uh, All Stars Racing Transformers. It says no, 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 no. Go along that line. Go along that line. Go faster. Oh, there it is. There it there is. There you go. I liked it. Yeah. I we'll liked get, we'll, racing we'll other there. people. You know? <laughs> we'll no, there, no, 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 no. Just do it now. Cause okay, we're about doing it now. now. We're doing it now. Where are we putting it? A? But like, the All Stars games for racing, they are arguably can't say, arguably can't say that they are much better. Yeah. I like, mean, I've never played the second All Stars game. I played. One of them. I played one of them because one of them was my first ever Sonic that game. Was the, I was that like, was the second I was probably one. like eight or something. Just playing Sonic. Yeah, hey, that was transformed. Racing. 
It's a miracle that I'm still a Sonic fan, but you know. Well, your first fucking game is. I put, Sonic I Racing. wouldn't put it above them all. C. I'll put it like B. I'll put it like before Sonic Two. Before Sonic Two, well, better than Sonic Two. Yeah. All right, I respect that. Fair enough. Fair enough, bro. Um, like I like the racing. I like the story. Sometimes yeah. the story goes strange, but you know, because Pontang Goofy has graph was there. Pontang graph. But, like I liked racing. I like the racing games. They should make more. I want a racing game, either another riders game where he's on a hoverboard or just regular running. Just give me a running racing game. You just control the controls are exactly the same as the kart racing ones. You know, you still have your run, you still have your drift. Maybe you have don't have your accelerate button, but you just hold the stick forwards, right? But other than that, it controls exactly the same. And you've got your drift. But like just don't put him in a car. Just he's Sonic the fucking hedgehog. Just have him run. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Um I am lost where we are. Alright, we're not gonna do Olympic ones. Unleash the console version. What is your opinion on Unleashed? Well, that's the only one I played, the and I HD really enjoyed one. it. Like the Chat. whole, I like the whole idea of the whole, like the hub world. Yeah. Like really nice, and like the, you can interact with like the NPCs there. Yeah. You know? and, like you can. There's no boost in the hub world, which is nice. That's like restricted in the hub world. But you can like just walk around and like obviously there's the oh my god, there's the sun and moon medals which are Fuck the sun. Actually I'm gonna headache. bump it down one just for that. Um I hated collecting the sun and moon medals because it I just took a long time. Beat it for like two years. Because I remember I got to the final fucking stage before you unlock Eggman Land, right? And it's like you need another like 86 medals, and I'm just like, no, no thanks. Like, you have to go on YouTube, be like, hey, yeah. where's this? And then you're like, oh, fuck, it's all the way down there, I have to go all the way down there, and the I have thing, to find it, the thing have to I, change. The thing that I don't like, as well, is in the nighttime stages, you find more of the medals to unlock the daytime stages, in the daytime stages, you unlock more of the medals to unlock the nighttime ones. So even if you weren't planning on completing the game, but you re there's another daytime stage you want, and you f imagine you hate the Werehog, but even if there's a new daytime stage, you're like, I really want to play the daytime stage. And then you have to fucking play Werehog stages to find all the moon medals to then be able to unlock just being able to play the daytime stage. I think that's awful. I think they should have been tied to the one they had. I actually... It might be a controversial opinion. I prefer the Wii version because... For one sole reason. Well, actually, two reasons. One, I actually much prefer the jump ball when he jumps. He's not... Gets covered by that ugly-ass aura. And it's just his little model that curls up in a ball. I love that. Um, second is... The Sun and Moon medals are tied into your rank and you don't need them to complete the game. There's st his stuff hidden around the areas to run up your concept art and your musics and everything as you would otherwise there's no hidden summer moon medals you just play the fucking stages and i love that and also it has the indoor section of um this ice one what's it called what is it called cool edge it's got like an indoor ice out. cave section and it's really cool what i just zoomed out yeah, because I just started waffling about Sonic. Anyway, Sonic Unleashed's rank. Next is Black Knight, which I'm going to tell you now. Okay, then, I must say, when I first got the Wii, yes, I did have the Wii, but it broke. Oh my god, I have a story about it, but I'm going to say it a bit later. Um, I love Sonic and the Black Knight. It is my favourite, the most favourite, my most favourite game in the whole entire world. Like, you prefer Black Knight to Frontiers? Yes, I love Sonic and the Black Knight that much. From like all the illustrations, all the drawings, like I fucking love the cutscene. Why'd because, you stop me? Like I could have taken them apart, no problem. 
Hey, also, are you a blacksmith? I'm sure am. Or something like that. You know, it peak, peak tails. Peak. It like, can't be. This is the smithy, right? It sure is. It sure is. How about you um, sharpen this dull piece of rust? For I had I no remember what chill. For I had no chill. Like, the poor Caliban. I love this game. Like, it, yeah. the art style was beautiful. And, like, it's a big up from Sonic and the Secret. Yeah, Rings it's a big upgrade. From what I've seen, the controls are really nice. I yeah. liked like, just standing there and like jun 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 moving around yeah. and what like, I, swinging my arm. Yeah, what I time. used to do for ages when I was a kid when I played this is you know in Misty Lake, I don't know if it's the tutorial stage, but one of the Misty Lake levels that opens and you're stood in like that flower field. It's the same for I think Titanic playing with the grass. You sit in the flower field and you can swing it and it cuts the flowers, right? And it leaves like a little patch where you'd cut the flowers and then they'd slowly, slowly, slowly grow back on the over time. I fucking love that. The music in Black Knight, impeccable. The story, impeccable. The art style, impeccable. The gameplay, people are like, it's a waggle, it's a waggle fest, it's a waggle. It's not you just fucking flick your fucking wrists. And then he does the thing, you just have to do a light little flick, and then he does it. You're just terrible at the game. Get good, bro. Whoever whoever thought of a concept of Sonic having a sword, I will forever love you, Peak and fiction. I want to kiss you. Me too. Was it Kishimoto, <laughs> lead game designer, bro? Like... What a goat. It is so good. Like, but honestly, I'm going to be... Like, I've got the word, but Shadow, and any Shadow in a knight's outfit. Yeah. Holy shit, that man is hot. <laughs> I'm not a furry, but that man sure, is sure, hot. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, okay, okay. Will you abandon your sword and flee? Hmm? Am I a furry because I like you? How am I a furry? I can see like shadow too. Okay. Also, do also have TikTok, TikTok edit on them. Um, TikTok. <laughs> yeah, that's shadow. Yeah, that's that shadow. shadow. I just I love Black Knight. I could talk about it forever. I could... Oh wait, my story, my story, my story. So basically, that's something on the Black Knight for boy. And then one day, I put it in, and then like one day when I wanted to take it out, just just to take it out of the disc. It got stuck in there. And I was like, what? I could not get it out. I was just trying to press the button. I was trying to press the button. And then the Wii broke. I was like, no, why would you do this? So now I have the Sonic and the Black Knight disc stuck in my Wii. Right? And I'm just sat there. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? So then I googled, how do you get out Sonic and the Black Knight? How do you get out Sonic and the Black Knight? Sonic and the Black Knight from the Wii. Not just a disc. Do you think it was just? Do you think it was just a problem with Black Knight? <laughs> so then I was like, "How do you get out the disc? Come on, a broken Wii." And they said to pull it or something onto like. I'm like, "What the fuck you mean pull it?" So I was like, "You know what? I'm just gonna leave it there, and then like come back to it later." And like, I don't know where the Wii is. I think it's been thrown out. But like, oh. it's probably stuck there, and it will be stuck there forever. So yeah, archaeologists of the future are gonna dig up a wee. What is this ancient yeah, artifact? Like, Sonic and the Black Knight. And have my fingerprints on, like, oh my god, this woman, <laughs> this woman, this woman has a Sonic and the Black Knight stuck in her thing. Um, so Sonic Four. No. I think it's better than Sonic One. F. F. No, F. no. F. You're telling me Sonic. F. You're telling me Sonic 3D Blast is better. Tell me Sonic CD. You're telling me. You're telling me. You're telling me that everything else is better than like. Wait, no, no. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking acoustic, right? I actually cannot. Okay, you're telling me that Sonic 4 is better than all these games. Yes. You're telling me that Sonic 4 is better than Sonic Heroes. Yes. No. I have played Sonic ever. 4 on my channel. If you want to, if you I want to see my live, if you want to see my live reaction to my gameplay first playthrough of Sonic 4, it is live on my channel now. Just search on YouTube, Flute Salad, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, to watch the video. Well, I'm not, 
And I'm not surprised you like it because you like shitholes like Sonic Forces. So whoa, whoa, whoa! We haven't even got to Sonic Forces yet. And remember, I'm in charge of the tier list here. Okay, I can put Sonic Forces. Yeah, but my I have a I have an opinion. I want <laughs> Sonic <laughs> Colors. Oh. Anyway. Okay. I mean, it's better than CD. I... It is better than CD. It's per- I think it's better than Colors. I'll put it there. It, put it there. I'll just put it there, because I like the gameplay. The story brings it down, because it's so cringy. Oh, the nose hair. That's the best yeah, thing I've ever heard of. It. And Taylor's like, oh, help me. I need to save who is for some shit. Like, and, like, it's so cringy. Like, Pontac and Graf. <laughs> I'm so glad out the thing is the the, the thing is it goes from black knight immediately to colors that's the shift in terms of story um even i mean even when i was a kid even when i was a kid i didn't like colors i knew some like i knew something was different about it i couldn't put what it was because i was like what five or six whenever it came out i got it pretty much on you i'm pretty sure my nan the one that's dead now um, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure she got it for me. It might have been the other one. I'm not sure. But I remember even back in the day, there was something different about it that I didn't like. And now I come to think of it, I think it was actually Roger. I think little six-year-old me was like, "What the fuck is this, man, bro? This isn't Sonic. Who are you? You said, what's wrong with you, bro? Like I, I had no concept of voice actors. I just thought Sonic was Sonic, right? But I, was, I knew there was something different. There's a cat trying to get in my door. Hello, meow meow. There was something oh, different. It's, it's chicken cat. There was something different. <laughs> there was something different. I didn't know what it was. And then a thing with the 2D as well. Even in the other ones. What are you doing? Sorry, I've got a little hurry on the camera. It's just did some weird manoeuvre. Um, you know, Secret Rings <laughs> unleashed. Black. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Secret Rings <laughs> unleashed Black Knight. They uh, all predominantly 3D. So the fact that this fucking game was 2D, I, that was something that was for me. Anyway, fuck Sonic Colors, it's a piece of shit. Um, never played the DS one. Have you played the DS one? No, but it's better. It is better. It is Fair. better. Put, put it, it above, yeah. Above Sonic above. 1. Above Sonic, put it above Sonic 4. Obviously, I've seen gameplay videos and walkthroughs because I'm um, just peak like that. So. Generations. Oh, oh, generations. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. It, above or below 06 well, is the question. Above. Above 06. I'll put below, above. above or below Heroes? What's Heroes? I mean, what, Adventure. What? I mean, I mean, Adventure. Okay. Put it. No, just leave it there. Just leave, leave it there. Um. The story is just them um, being sucked into a wormhole, and just it's just like, oh, you, are you you done this? You have to go down. It's just it's just a plain simple story. Wish going I could from be sucked a into a B, wormhole. No, no different, no different A, B, and C. It's just go straight to A and B. However, the gameplay. I personally think that the game is goalish just for gameplay and just trying to yeah. try everything out to, with a boost formula. Bringing it back at all stages it is amazing. I love playing this game. Like, yeah. Every so often, if I have time, if I actually get myself to play, do something and play yeah, something. Yeah, just load up gens. Obviously, I'm gonna load up gen- generations. And like every time I have a new console or just like I just get a new one and I can't get any, can't get my stuff immediately back. Immediately, I don't generations. Like, I, I, yeah, yeah, because. The levels are so fun, yeah. even if like just it's just the same levels. Yeah. Well, this was from, like, before that became an issue. Really, really fun. This was before it became an issue, really. This was like the first time it was done. Yeah. yeah. Like I have no problem with uh, reusing levels in Sonic Generations because that's just like an anniversary game, you know? Yeah. And like I think they done it really, really well. The thing with generations. I like as, as soon as I complete generations, I do not touch the classic levels again. I do not find <laughs> yeah any enjoyment out of them. But the modern Sonic levels are so fucking. I mean, it's a, it's a, kind of like an unleashed case where only half the game is good, but like 
when it's good, it's really fucking good. What are you doing? It's first someone knocked on my door. It's him again with the meat. Anyway. Oh, hold on. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, she's going to go and check the door while I waffle about Sonic Generations the whole time. So, Sonic Generations. Um, It's fucking PK Ming. Um, classic Sonic. Yeah, I never, ever, 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 ever fucking repeat the stages of him. I do not find any enjoyment out of them at all. Um, they're just kind of a chore to get through. They're not bad. They're not badly designed, but they're just kind of there. But the, yeah, the modern Sonic stuff is so... Apart from Planet Wisp, Planet Wisp is fucking shit. Absolute shit. Piece of shit. Planet Wisp, bro. Fuck Planet Wisp. Your ass. Anyways. What are we talking about? Uh, I was just ranting about Generations. Next on the list is Sonic for oh. Episode 2. I've not actually played. Um, Lost World of Night. Have you played Lost World? Worst thing in my life. Have you Worst played it? Worst game I've ever played. I emulated it on my phone. And as soon as I played it, the first stage I came up, it was just like mm. some weird ass shit. Right? Drop the crater, Eggman. Obviously, I've looked at gameplays and everything. Yeah. But when I actually played the game, no, don't even put it there. Don't even no. put it there. No, 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 no. No, no, I, I, no honestly, honestly. <laughs> yeah, now I am my experience. Let me just speak. Basically, I opened up the game, came with the cutscene, dropped me into some weird ass Mario thing. Weird ass shit. I took a couple of steps, I played it. It half the level, and I was like, "What the fuck did I just play?" Mario Kishimoto. Like, 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 like it is the most stupidest, most ugliest, and the worst Sonic game I've ever played. <laughs> it is worse. It is worse than Sonic Forces. That, that's how much it is. Um, well, at least Sonic like, Forces is going to be above D rank. Let's go. No, put where, where, where'd you put Sonic and Lost World D? Put it's it in here. F. F? F. No. F. Sonic 3D Blast is not better. I don't even care what you say. Sonic 3D Blast is not better than Lost World. Lost World is better than that. Personally, from I haven't, I haven't played it, but I looks like I'd prefer it to Heroes, but we're not ready for that conversation yet. I'd probably also it's prefer it to weird. Colors, but we're probably also not ready Why? for that conversation. You're a weirdo. You know that. <laughs> I hate Sonic and Lost World. I hope everyone knows that. I haven't hope played... everyone has me. I've not played the Boom games. I haven't played the Boom games. I watched it. Mania. Mania. Um, I remember that. Um, for only I don't reason, think it's as I good as Sonic Mania. Two. Only reason I got Mania is when it was on like this Xbox thing. Yeah. Like Xbox Game Pass for a little bit. I was playing it, and then like it went off, so I couldn't not play anymore or something. I played only played a couple of stages, but that was like 2019 or something. I can't remember. Yeah, and I cannot remember. I mean, it's a good game. I don't think it's as good as Sonic Two. I definitely don't think it's as good as Sonic Three. I definitely, definitely, definitely don't think it's as good as anything up here. It's a Sonic, especially when we just come from, you know, just before this, we'd had Lost World, we'd had Boom, we'd had all that shit, right? Colors, Lost World, Boom, all in a row. With gens in the middle, saving us for a little brief period of time. And then you get like an actually good game, even though it's not my favourite. It uh, Like, it's still a decent game. and But this is, I think, is where the level reuse fatigue started to set in, really. Because we had Green Hill, we had Chemical Plant again, we had... What else was reused? Um, Flying Battery. I mean, it was the first time it was reused, but still. And when it's in a sprite base environment it's not any different to how it was before because you think about generations you're taking the old 2d pixel art levels and you're putting them in a 3d space with 3d models realistic lighting so much more stuff you can do with it that way when you're taking it from a 16-bit sprite based thing into another 16-bit sprite based thing they're just going to look exactly the same as they did before yeah, well, personally, I don't really like classic Sonic games. No, I mean, just... I, I much prefer... I don't think classic Sonic games are quote-unquote bad. Which is the reason 
I still have not played Sonic Superstars because I just don't find that appeals like yeah. classic Sonic. Well, we'll we will we'll play it. We will play it next month when you come over again. Yeah. Um, but we will not complete it because the boss is fucking shit. I think I think that's a nice space for it. Um, the fuck is next? Oh, peak fiction. Here we go. No, Let's go. No, Sonic no, Forces. No, no, Sonic no, no, Forces. No, no, my no. goat. Peak no, fiction. No, no, peak down, gaming. Peak, peak gaming. Peak gaming. We're like a well-oiled machine fighting a well-oiled machine, bro. Worthless. Don't show your pathetic face around me again. Weak. He's calling me. Weak. Peak fiction, bro. We love Sonic Forces. Realistically, I think it'd probably go... I think it's pretty good there. No. I think it's better than Secret Rings. No, 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 no. Realistically, it should go where uh, the fuck Sonic Lost World is. I mean, okay, realistically, I'm going to put it there. It is one of the worst Sonic games I've ever played alongside Lost World. Yeah, but it's better than fucking Sonic 4. Is it or is it not better than Sonic 4? Sonic Lost World, Sonic Forces and Sonic 4 are on, all on the same level. No. So oh, no, oh, no, oh. So is it or is it not Listen. better than Sonic 1? Is it better than Sonic 1? Yes. It's not even better than Sonic 1. It is better than Sonic 1. Story, cringe as fuck. Uh, just Knuckles being like, like oh, Operation, Operation Big, Big Wave. Yeah. Big Wave, that shit. Operation cringe Big, Big Wave like, washed wave. out. I'm a freebie! Sonic. Like, Sonic is supposed to be like fucking beaten up and like tortured. <laughs> For six months or nine months, whatever the fuck, and like when they actually show him, he's just sitting there. He's just like he's just having a little I chat. Say, bro. Nothing happened. And as soon as they open the gate, he's like, huh, "Yeah, I'm gonna fight all these fucking fuckers." Hey, Savog, I'm gonna get your ass. Like it makes no sense. I, like at least show that he's been through something. Like you know, and the level design. But like, okay, I'm gonna say that the level design is beautiful. Like, for example, like, Correct. you and the his level forest. design is beautiful. Thank you very much. Like, level design is beautiful. I think it is the that they design, only have like, the year to make the game. Hmm? Yeah, it's no. Gonna... Because, like, how long was it? Four years? They had to make the game? Four years they, they made the Hedgehog engine for like three yeah. years. Yeah, they were stupid enough to do that. I mean, it is, to be fair, Forces is a very beautiful game. With the it is. Lighting. I'm not saying it. It's, I'm not saying it. Shit. Like in terms of yeah. the looks. At I'm the same time, though, it's just the gameplay. Yeah. At the same time, the visuals are less important. I mean, that's why I put it so much below fucking adventure. There's no other ways around it. I love adventure. It's ugly as fuck. It's so ugly. Not, do not even get me started on the classic Sonic gameplay. Like, holy fuck. Like, and the classic Sonic gameplay isn't they great. Bring, they bring him back for no reason. You're that Absolutely Sonic from no another reason. dimension, right? Yeah. I just don't understand why they bring him back because the because, game will be so much because, better without him. Because. No, I don't think that if it's an, an another anniversary. No. Game. I don't no. know. The yeah. reason is because. Everyone thought Generations was really good, and that brought back classic Sonic. So they tried to incorporate more classic Sonic elements into things like Lost World, but that didn't go down very well. And then Mania came out, and it was very well received. And like from the first trailer of Mania, they knew it would be very well received. And that came out like early 2016, so they still had like a year and a half. They'd only just begun fucking developing forces when the first trailer for Mania came out. People lost their minds over the Mania trailer. They lost their minds. So they thought, well, how do we cash in on this? I know. We'll put fucking classic Sonic again. Chances are it wasn't even Sonic's team decision. It was Sega higher-ups. Most issues well, this is in their lives. come from Does Sega higher-ups. The gameplay, the gameplay for classic Sonic is unbearable. And it, and it is sad as fuck. I cannot jump without him feeling like a rock and just fucking plummeting down into the floor. I will like, say. What are you doing? When this, you know the area with a tower and everything, where you go and ask classic what, Sonic for Yeah, with the auto scroll. He has to be there. He has to fucking be there. So, right. The screen is moving. Yeah. Right? And you're yeah. trying to go fast and then the screen is moving. That bit right? is shit. And then, like, I am trying to go fast and I'm trying to jump. But this man is just, is not working. 
<laughs> at the same time as I want to jump. It jumps two seconds or like one second before or after. I think. And it's shit. The only good gameplay was mostly moderately the Avatar. Really? But Sonic himself. Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. You prefer He's... Avatar to modern Sonic? He... Yeah, Avatar is just modern Sonic with no boost. Yeah, but Avatar actually had cool shit like the Wisps, which also came back from Sonic Colors. Wow, yeah, I actually, no, they, they, they were back in Lost He's World as well. There's no reason for them to. Be... I mean, the whole plot is in Colors. It's, oh, we're rescuing all the Wisps. They're going back to be they're free again, and then they're back in Lost World in the capsules again. Then they're back in uh, forces in the cat. It doesn't make any sense. I think it was explained in IDW. I mean, it's not an excuse for forces being the way it is, but I think it was explained in IDW after the fact that um, the reason the Wisps were there in forces is because they decided to help, as like a like to return the favor from like Sonic saving them in colors. They were like, "Oh, we're gonna help them. We're gonna help them develop these like weapons that use our powers and stuff." So then the game. Not but everyone's yeah, gonna read the comic. Time. It wasn't. It wasn't in the game. But anyway, Sonic Forces B next. Peak game. Peak Fiction. We have what is it? Frontiers. Sonic Frontiers X. Right there. Best step in the right direction. I absolutely Not adore the, the game. The right so direction, it is an amazing game. Like the thing I love the most <laughs> about Sonic Frontiers. Is the Titans like? Oh my god! I remember when I got to the first Titan, I was absolutely losing my mind because I am just there fighting this big beast as Super Sonic, right? And like, I could pull off these amazing moves as Super Sonic, like, like the yeah. quick side loop in the air. And when you do that, the quick side loop, the Giganto goes into the air and then you can just like fucking attack him and everything not to mention undefeatable hello all my undefeatable bros you know <laughs> banging and i just have this huge like upburst of energy i was like yeah and like it was so amazing not to mention the other ones like wyvern like the fact that like you could fight this big beast, a supersonic, across the whole entire island of Ares was absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, they... Like, especially with all the missiles, you have to use, like, all the things you previously learned, like the, what's it called, the parry. parry. You have to time it right. You have to time that right. And, like, the part where, like, the, what's it called, the little cutscenes in between, right? Yeah, the Is quick time events. Quick time events, like for example, with Sonic grabs onto the tail of Wyvern yeah. and just like smashes, smashes him into, him into the, the, the cliff. Yeah, mountain. The, it was literally the yeah. best thing I've ever seen. And with like Knight and stuff, where he jumps on the shield and then like flies it into him, or like when he yeah. when he gets yeah. Psy loops the sword and then chops just him grabs in half. It. Best thing. Yeah. I've in, ever really encountered. In terms of like, the open zone itself, what's your opinion on that? Is a bit it was at first. It was a bit empty, obviously. Yeah. I can't I can't say anything. I can't really say anything because it's the first time making something like that. I but think that I think it's also a fact it's of it a is bit, a bit too much realistic. It should have more like yeah. Sonicy stuff there. But I really liked. I really liked it. I think part. I mean, there's there's two reasons for that. But the realistic thing that that's kind of the point of the game. I'm not sure I'd like to see it in. Every game from now on, I'll definitely like to see a more stylistic approach in the future. But with Frontiers, that was the whole point of that game, is the characters are supposed to be on this weird island which doesn't suit them, they don't know what's going on, they're not supposed to know what's going on. That's the kind of purpose of that. In terms of the emptiness, I'd actually argue both that it is empty and also it's not. Because there's all these fucking platforms and stuff, right, everywhere. So it's not really empty, there's always stuff to do then. There's all the different cyberspace dotted all over the place, right? And part of it is it also has to be a bit empty anyway because it's Sonic. 
you know, like yeah, he's really fucking yeah. quick. My the thing I would say is, I think a lot of the islands are too small. I'd argue they're too small. Yeah. So I mean, Kronos especially. I get it's a tutorial island and stuff. I mean, it's tiny. You can run from one end of Kronos to the other in like two minutes, right? It's it's less bad for things like Ares and uh, Chaos and stuff. I mean, Rhea is just fucking pointless. And Aranos is just Kronos Island again, but with a gap. With, like, pretty trees and everything. I genuinely, I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely think the island split was the worst thing they've ever done. That was a stupid fucking decision. That thing I wanted the most from the beginning was, like, a snow island. Yeah, well, I, I mean, hoping for that yeah, Ares has a, uh, not Ares, sorry. No. Chaos has a little bit of snow up the top of that mountain, but, like, that's, that's kind of it. What I will say is, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the island split, I think, it was a stupid decision, because they were like, oh, well, you need to go back to these islands, because these things have opened up now. So we're just going to count them as a different... You could, they could have just been counted as the same island. It could have been, oh, these towers have appeared on Kronos now, you need to go back there and do that, but Kronos could have been the whole massive area with a uh, Ronos as well. Right? Or you could have had... What you could have done is you could have had at the start of the game, Kronos was just that little island it ended up being. Right? And then, even without the rear section, it's just that tiny, tiny little area, right? And then the... When you get to Rhea and the towers come up, the whole fucking rest of the island with Aranos could have risen up along with the towers, and now suddenly Kronos is this massive fucking area. I think that would have justified that, but yeah. what can I say? What can yeah. I say? Anyway, it's peak fiction. Um, we're not finished with it. We're not finished with it. We're not finished. It. We're not finished. We can't talk about, like... Cyberspace. I enjoyed cyberspace. I like cyberspace. Cyberspace is fifty fifty. I liked how they like <laughs> used past levels to make cyberspace as Sonic's memories. However, I I would literally like to see more new levels. Yeah, that, the thing is, I'm less so annoyed about the reuse of the level designs because after things like Forces and Lost World, they need to fucking learn how to make good levels again. So I'm okay with them reusing level designs because it would have made them actually pay attention to all of the levels, why they're the way they are, the actual design of them, right? The level environment's my biggest issue. Less so with Sky Sanctuary, because we've only seen Sky Sanctuary come back in Gens, and that was it, right? I'm not sure. I wouldn't want to see it in the next game. Um, but it came back in Gens, and that's it. But... And the highway levels are cool. I mean, I think all of the highway levels are their own designs. I might be wrong on that fact. But I'm pretty sure all the highway levels are their own designs. Um, most of them are fucking actually really nice. Um, I need to burp. Uh... No! No, <laughs> I already did earlier. You didn't notice. Um... <laughs> why did, me too that's why you were like what were you doing no <laughs> what were we saying bro um, cyberspace I quite like it yeah we already talked about it oh, okay. <laughs> updates so updates, right. updates. Um, up oh my God. updates the fact sorry the can I just say when I used to be on twitter uh, before everyone decided <laughs> I was a paedophile <laughs> even though I'm not um <laughs> um, Sonic Twitter for you Sonic Twitter, the most intelligent fucking person there is a fucking plankton um, apart from you of course um, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm on Sonic Twitter but I just don't go on it every single day yeah. I go on it once but and then you don't want, you want to see me once a week back when I was on there and I saw the fucking picture and it said three updates come out. I'm like, what the fuck? Sonic Frontiers is getting three fucking updates. And it said new playable characters. So I was like, what the shit, bro? This is insane. And the fact they did all of that for free just because people liked the game. 
people bought the game. They went, oh, yeah, this game's pretty good. This is really good. This is what they should be doing. And Sega were like, you know what? Maybe we should, like, actually fund Sonic Team. And they did yeah. that. Obviously, there was a lot of limitations okay. with the stuff. They could own... Sorry, I'm just waffling. But they could only work with what they already had. You know, like, they couldn't... Even with the new playable character section, Update 3 with the story change... You know, they were making a free update. It's not like they can make an entirely new island and everything, or change the island. So they had to work with the base template of Aranos as they had it. But I think, you know, and even they, they added things like the spin dash. You know, that's insane. And, you know, the jump momentum. You know when you jump and you should just fucking stop in the air? They got they added a slider so you could change it. The fact you could... Oh my god, bro. The fact in Frontiers you can you have all the sliders to change how Sonic controls... Incredible. Mm. Incredible. Did you believe the best thing that Sonic Team has ever done? They fucking... Kishimoto, you are my daddy. Um, not to mention, not to mention, not to mention. We're still going. They took the beat back, they took the beat back and actually fixed they did. the final boss. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say fixed. Oh, they made it better. Um, like... It, no, yeah. They, they added an additional story, which is really, really good. Babe, like, do you really not, nice. Babe, like, do you not remember? Like, do you not remember when Update down. 3 came out and then you were trying to beat the fucking Master King Coco challenge? Do you remember that? I, I do remember that. That was shit. <laughs> that was shit. It was not shit. It was hard. Yeah, but not a good level of hard. Okay, some levels are going to be good in front of you, some levels are not going to be good. Um, For example, Master King Coco. That man, I want to put, put that man in the face. <laughs> Never want to see him ever again. Do you ever, remember ever. Again. Do, do you remember when they showed the footage and it was like when it's the, the close-up of his eyes and he opens the eyes and there's the lightning and stuff. And it's like, yeah. and it's like really dramatic and it was like, that's so fucking cool. Oh my god, I wonder what he's doing there. And it was for the fucking fishing when you catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> But genuinely, I, I think not. they learned so much from Frontiers, and the fact that Kishimoto was on Twitter and he was talking to people responded to me three times, just saying, "Haha, I'm like basically besties." Um, and he was listening to that feedback, and you know, even with Update Three, you could tell, and even with Update Two, when they were adding the spin dash and stuff, you could tell that they were listening to it. Obviously, they had to work with the limitations they had. They had a very limited budget because they're free updates. They had to work with the existing framework that Frontiers had already established. But the fact they did what they did and they listened to the feedback to that extent, I think is fucking amazing. Because Sonic Team often has a habit of listening to feedback too much and listening to feedback from the wrong people. Whereas usually they'd listen to the feedback of game critics. Right? You look at things like... Uh... 06. And they listened to stuff about the game, and they were like, Sonic, stupid friends, blah, 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 blah. Sonic, it was only Sonic that was playable from, uh, like, after 06, all the way up to fucking Mania. Yeah. And Mania wasn't even developed by Sonic Team. You know, and Forces, again, it's only Sonic's playable, apart from Avatar character. Um... So it wasn't until the fucking updates of Frontiers that they actually made those characters be playable again. And that was from 06 to Frontiers, for the update for your Frontiers. That's like, what, 15, 16 years, something like that? That's a long time. 17? I don't fucking know. But it's a long time. And the simple fact of the matter is... They often listen to the wrong people. Again, it was the same thing. Unleash came out. Sonic, but a werewolf. While I don't really like the werehog itself, that's a pretty cool concept. Sonic and a sword. Keek fucking concept. Game, game critic. Don't it's so cringe. So then they fucking make Sonic Colors. You know, and then Lost World. And they went, oh, Sonic's so edgy. He's too edgy. And they made shit like Colors and Lost World. They often listen to the... And the fans were like, no, this is cool. This is cool. Sonic should be cool. He should be doing this stuff. And they're like, no, he's now going to be... Saving little aliens with one big eye. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? But I love the concept of Sonic being cool and edgy. Yeah. Like Sean and like in I, Frontiers. Yeah, I, 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 I think Frontiers is the perfect balance. Little, no, 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 no
speak? Because all the time you're speaking... We've been going like, an hour, bro. Huh? We've been recording an hour. Oh, shit. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, like, you know, what was I going to say? Like, the cool shots in, like, updated boss where he's yeah. just, like, fighting it. They're so shonen. Yeah, and we so made the good. fucking edit. I think Frontiers hits the perfect balance of Sonic, because Sonic can also be goofy, right? I think things like Black Knight and Frontiers hit that perfect balance. I like in Frontiers, he's just kind of like, he's just like, he gives me dad energy, right? He's just a dad. He's like, man, that thing's just begging to be climbed. Imagine the view. But also, he's fucking cool and like, rips massive big robots in half. Yeah. Anyway, we need to actually move on from Frontiers, Jimmy. otherwise. Jimmy. Um, not cutting a lot so, of these. Things. Yes, Medal of Sonic Hedgehog. I like Medal of Sonic Hedgehog. Hedgehog. I think it go in. I think it go in A simply because it's free. S. S. Okay, simply because it was a free little thing. They did not have to do that. Peak gaming. Um, I haven't played that. I don't know what the fuck. That's just Lego, bro. Superstars. Right. <laughs> this is the last one we're gonna rank because that isn't out yet. That isn't out yet, and that's a fucking Apple Arcade exclusive. Superstars. I think it's better think than Sonic it's One. Game. I don't. I prefer it to. Do I prefer it to Mania? I think I do prefer it to Mania. I'd put it there. Yeah, you you can talk about it because I've not played the game. Yeah, on, the level I've design itself it. is pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty fucking good. Um, it's a beautiful game. It's a beautiful game. The soundtrack's a bit. Well, you know, what the fuck? Why are you just rolling about on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Soundtrack's a bit whatever. Visually, it's beautiful. Animation-wise, it's fucking stunning. Environment-wise, it's really nice. I mean, I think all of the environments are actually original, so that's really nice. Fang came back. That's cool to see a character like that back. Um, the bosses are just fucking shit. Um, and simply because of the bosses and the cyberspace level thing, it's going to be... If they weren't there, I'd probably put it in A. But bosses are bring it down so it goes there and that is our ranking um sonic adventure 2 where it deserves mm -hmm. and then yeah cd where it deserves 3d blast where it deserves this i mean that should be like down there but whatever um I'm Sonic Forces so much, like, happily in B this. rank. My goat Sonic Forces. Um, actually, I would say I know oh, someone's going to be like, "Oh, why'd you why'd you put Sonic on your two? Like all the way down there, and Shadow the Hedgehog at the top." Like, shut I'll up! I'll show shut you up. why. I'll show you why. Yeah, for all of you out there, like you know, you're gonna see why. I'll show you why. <laughs> Watch. Uh, this video right here. Yeah, the one where everyone's cooking you. People did not cook me. They did on Twitter. No, they did on Facebook. Oh, why are my likes private? Facebook. They shouldn't be. Anyway. Yeah, someone sent me it, and they said, um, it was on Twitter ages ago, they sent me that and said, people are cooking your fucking Sonic Adventure 2 video on Facebook. And it was shared in, like, a Sonic <laughs> group. And then everyone's like, these kids don't know what a good game is. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, bro. You should have Facebook people, bro. Anyway, this is our tier list. It's 100% right. There is nothing wrong with this list. No one could ever get upset with this. Um, we're going to banish Sonic Adventure 2 to the Shadow Realm. And there we go. That is the list. Thank you for watching the video. And goodbye! Bye. Yo, 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 yo.